Jean Bernard. Yes. We have returned to your kingdom. Indeed. I've done the shopping and found the greatest stuff on it. Oh, great. Now, perfect. Surprise. I'll prepare for an entree of fine celery and crabs, and as you will see, this is a really marvelous dish. Taste of the sea. Certainly. Just look at it. It has a delicious outlook, doesn't it? This is important. I believe it is a bit crazy, isn't it? No, no, no. I wonder if anybody would succeed in making a similar thing. Well, in fact, it is really simple to prepare it. It might seem complicated, but in the end, you will have simply to remember this. You have chips of fried celery stuck in between a bed made of crabs with fennel. Then you add some celery puree, decorate with herbs, and sprinkle the crabs with this mixture. It's simple, you will see. But let's do it step by step. The first stage, the celery. OK. Slice the celery. I'll show you how to do it. This one has much for peeling. Yes. And it must be done gently. Yes, it has quite for peel. This one is really very good. Uh, do you see? Great one. Good white color. Well, it's ready. OK. You do it like this. In the end, you should have something like this. You see? Peeled celery. Now, I'll show you how to slice it in the tiniest possible manner. It is important to be tiny to fry them easily. Then it is not so important if the plates are not the same size, isn't it? Absolutely not. It doesn't matter. Do not panic on this. Just be sure the slices are as tiny as possible. Here they are. It is good then if you manage to keep your fingers safe. <laughs> Depends on the personal taste. After we cut it to fine slices, our celery goes for frying. Look down there for the fryer. OK, we put the slices to fry for not more than two minutes at all temperature of 100 degrees at maximum. It is important that frying lasts shortly. We place them inside like this, and here is the result. Is this all? Yes, this is the final result. It's funny, you could easily take it for potato chips. Yes, this is all, and they're so crispy. What is the essential ingredient, Jean Bornard? The crabs. Oh, yes. It is important that you choose female crabs as they are bigger. Once you have the crab, you will need the small grips. Yes, here are the small grips, and I have already started dismembering the crab. You have two things to do before cooking the crab. Yes. First, you peel it. And it is being peeled like this. This is for somebody who is patient enough to finish it. Absolutely. Someone who has the time to do it. Otherwise, you could use any other grips for the purpose. OK. It's simple. In fact, people who are afraid they will be bored with it will find the crab almost ready. This is for people like me. Yes. Of good quality because it's done properly. Absolutely. Important. We have it all. Place the ingredients here. I'll bring them closer. Here it is. Fine. Now we have all the ingredients. We need to prepare the recipe. You mean it's just a matter of assembling it all? Certainly. Here is the bed of crib finely chopped, the celery puree, the fennel, and in a white we shall make the vinaigrette. It is made on the base of citric juice, olive oil, and citric juice. OK, let's prepare now the ensemble of ingredients. So we have mixed the crab with a little of... Here it is. Parsley, chive. Here we're adding a little of the crab, then we add some fennel to the mixture. The fennel? The fennel must be boiled in water. OK. It's very simple, isn't it? Slightly chopped. Yeah, slightly chopped. Then add a small portion of it to the celery puree. Quite easy. This is important because... It is meant to bind it, isn't it? Yes, of course. It is necessary to find the right ratio. So when you eat it, the taste of the crab must dominate. When the time comes, chop the herbs, but not too petily, otherwise they will lose their fine taste. And the odor as well. The odor, but nothing more. In fact, it doesn't matter so much. No matter. No matter. Then you must mix all the ingredients together like this. Do you want me to season it a little bit? Yes. OK. You put some freshly milled pepper. OK. Fine. Now put some salt. Shall I do it this way? Y yes. A little salt. OK. Now we mix it all very well to come together. Like this, you shall pour in some olive oil. Not much. It's up to your taste. But the best choice is to use extra virgin olive oil. OK. This is enough. OK. Without lingering, we put some citric juice. It is all mixed like this. And as you see, it's important that you always watch out that visually the bed of crabs must predominate. Be careful not to make gruel. OK, not much. Yes, not much. You should seek to master certain elegance. Now I can fetch the plate. We take one piece and start building the decoration and seek perfection. This is slightly slackened mayonnaise. Is this color because of the tomato? No, no. Maybe due to the shellfish? It has adopted the coral color of the crab we have mixed. 
Oh, is it that colors is like that? Yes, it has slackened well, so we make the decoration around. It's so simple, you see. Anyone can do it, can't he? Certainly, it's mayonnaise prepared with fine herbs. Try to make it like this, from small points, really small, like this. Aren't they funny? I think it's good. You should never forget that in terms of cuisine, the primary thing is the visual taste. Oh, yes. The outlook is very important. It has to stir your imagination. Moreover, to incite your desire. Yes. So we assemble our crab, then add the celery and place the bed like this. Here it is. Yes. Beneath, we place the celery. And without stopping, assemble it all to the top. Once everything is assembled, quickly place it down. On the other side, you should also show some skills to make it stand upright. Here it is. I suggest it needs some time before serving. Yes. The celery needs to moisten. You have to watch out all the time not to let the celery take on too much moist, so that to become crispy. You will see, it's simple, believe me. It is true. Truly, it's not difficult at all. Okay. You can do it wherever you are. Yes. And moreover, it's a perfect hors d'oeuvre. If you say so, it must be. Yes. Sometimes you say it's simple, but you believe only to your eyes. Yes. Besides, it's also a creative act. When you're finishing it, take care to make it as beautiful as you can, like this, maybe. It's up to you. Yes. In the end, it looks like a multi slice cake. <laughs> yes, it does. Then you focus on the surrounding and put some of... Um... Pouched fennel. Yes, you have the fennel to decorate like this. Use just a clip of it around to add some color. The dish smiles. You place some fennel in the base and you're ready to serve the dish. Frankly speaking, this is... It's so simple. It doesn't take long to make it. It is wonderful. Here it is. Extraordinary. This dish fits perfectly the season, as it is delicious to make it with fresh ingredients. A true piece of art that can be made by anyone. Yes, it's true. Thus you realize that the culinary is a popular art. Absolutely. Well, we are ready. Yes. The small things you'd like to rediscover. Yes. Well, let's find out how it tastes. Okay.